larger characters. This is little um, Chester the dog, and um, this is my ch second Chester puppet. His head is wood, his body is foam. <laughs> <laughs> Chester doesn't talk, he just does tricks, and later Chester would um, be reincarnated into a more of a dog form with this little puppet here. So this was the little dog in Legend of Sleep, my Legend of Sleepy Hollow film. So this little guy is insanely cool. I love this puppet. Um, here he's got his walk. Wag his tail. That's the engineering part, and that's this is probably the biggest gift that I got from Clyde, was learning how to make controls. And and then I visited some um, the Boston Public Library, where there's a famous marionettist named Dwiggins collection. And Dwiggins has a whole coffee table book. It's amazing. His puppets were in this scale, and the thing that fascinated me it was the first time I had seen a puppeteer take as much care with the controls mm -hmm. as he did with the puppets. They were sculpted to fit the hand and they had like like little uh, grooves and etching like a rifle handle to make a good grip and, and all the ergonomics of them were amazing and so I decided that that was going to be something important for me to uh, make my controls uh, as professionally as the puppet. And you feel it. You know, when you have nice tools in your hand, you can yeah. tell the difference yeah. between a crummy tool. And it, it, it takes me back to when I was uh, visiting Bill Baird's and felt those Stradivarius controls. And uh, um, so this was green screened. All of this would be erased so the dog was just running free in the film without the controls <laughs> on his hand. Um, Locally, we had um, our River Arts District was really <coughs> begun by John Payne. Did anyone know John Payne in River Arts? He made the big steel dinosaurs. And when he came to town, he fell in with our local <coughs> puppet group. And he said, well, I think I'm going to try something different. I'm going to make big steel marionettes. And he made a raven that is probably 12 feet tall. It, it's magnificent. And John... John and I became best friends. If you go down to the Wedge Brewery in the Wedge Building, there's a tin dog up in the roof uh, it, with a tin dog house, and that was the last thing uh, John, John built. John and I decided we have to do a project, so before he died of cancer, we built this tin dog. And that, um, um, but John told me, before he died, he said, you know what? You shouldn't be working big. You should be working little. And he said, scale is so important, and your best work is your smallest work. So I'm turning to that, and now I'm delving into film with my puppets. And uh, other little things. Here is, uh, here is little Quagmire, my little mountain man's dobro. Oh, wow. <laughs> 